Hey guys, this is Caroline again with another 3D printer video. In my last 3D printer video, I showed you how to take a Raspberry Pi 3, add an LCD screen, hook it up to your 3D printer, run an OctoPrint server, and then use AstroPrint to print from your smartphone directly to your 3D printer. And if you missed that video, please go back and watch that video. Today, we're adding on to that video. So none of the instructions on this video will work unless you've already done everything from the last video. And the add-on for today is we're adding a webcam to our 3D printer, to our OctoPrint server. And what that does, and I'll just show you uh, how this works here. So we've got our OctoPrint server running on our Raspberry Pi 3. I'm plugging in my USB standard webcam into the USB port of my Raspberry Pi 3 and I'm going to position this so that I can monitor my prints from another room or even outside of my network and also make a time-lapse video of every print that I do automatically. Now I'm going to start a print move to another room, and then you'll be able to see what the webcam streaming looks like from my tablet or my phone. I have now moved to another room. I'm still on the same home network. I'm gonna show you how this works on my tablet here. I'm using an iPad, and I love using this on the iPad because I can just sit it down next to me on the counter when I'm in another room or I'm watching TV and I can kind of monitor my prints that way. So I'll show you how this is done here. I'm going to start a screen record on my iPad so you can see my screen. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the Safari browser, the default browser on my iPad. I'm going to go to the IP address of my Raspberry Pi port 5000. And here we are. So I have the Touch UI plugin installed in the last video, so it automatically detects that I'm on a tablet and gives me that beautiful, easy view. And I can see I'm 43% done with my print. I can stop the print. If I hit stop, it will make a confirmation before it actually stops the print. If I hit pause, it will pause for a second and then I can start it again. I can see what I'm printing. I'm printing a frog here and how many minutes I've been print printing for. And I can start and stop print jobs right from here. This is a beautiful interface. Now I can see the temperature. I can control the temperature from my tablet here. I, if, if it's not on, I can control the X, Y, and Z axis, set it back to home. The whole point of this video is that I can see it's printing beautifully right now. And if I did see something go wrong, I could go back to the main screen here and hit stop. But for right now, we will just watch the frog print on my 3D printer. And you do need to log in. I did. I logged in before I started this. The other thing is that if you don't want to go to Safari browser all the time and bookmark this IP address, what you need to do is you need to hit the, I think it's the share button. This button, the third button from the left on the top here. And I'm going to scroll left and there's something called add to home screen. I'm going to add this to my home screen. And I'm going to click add. And now there's a beautiful icon. It looks like an app on my iPad that says OctoPrint. Every time I hit OctoPrint, it's just gonna come right up. So now let's go to my phone. I'm starting a screen record right here, and I've got the AstroPrint already loaded up, installed on my phone, just to prove that I can do this while I'm outside of my home network. I'm gonna go through, turn off my Wi-Fi. So now I'm on 4G. And I'm going to start up my AstroPrint app. And I'm going to click on printers, touch printers here. And it's going to say, hey, you've got a Raspberry Pi 50.4% done. I'll touch the Raspberry Pi. And this is what you see default from outside of your home network. It tells you how much time you have left and if you can cancel or pause it. And you can check the temperature here, I think I showed this in the last one, but the difference is now I can touch the camera button here and it pulls up a static picture real time of the printout. My point being that when you are outside your home network, you're not gonna see the streaming like you do when you're inside on your home network. You're just gonna see a static picture and to see that static picture, you must click the camera button, but it's great 
if you need to check on something while you're outside. If there's something wrong with the print, boom, you'll see that one because it's a real time picture and you can stop or cancel your print if you see something go wrong. That is streaming from a webcam inside your home network or watching your print on Astro Print from your mobile device. So let's get started. This tutorial picks up right where the last tutorial left off. So in our last tutorial, we set up OctoPrint and AstroPrint right here, and we got most of our information from this GitHub page, setting up a Raspberry Pi running Raspbian for OctoPrint. I am gonna link to all of this below, but these instructions will not work if you didn't do the first video. Picking up from the last video, first I'm gonna SSH into my Raspberry Pi type in my password that I set up and I am in right here and then I'm gonna go to webcam and follow these instructions and I'm gonna sudo app get yes I want to continue next I want to get clone from github and I want to CD into my new folder. I just get hubbed from. And I want to export the library. And I want to make. And let's see if we get this started here. And now I need to. Um, find my browser. So I'm going to go into settings here, webcam, paste this in. Now my IP address is 192.168.1.24. Let me test that. Ah, sure enough, here is my webcam. Webcam, time lapse, paste ff mpeg Let's test that all right that works great paste test that path is valid save and ah here we go here is my webcam now so if i want to move something across there we go you can see it move I've got my webcam working and my controls working now. Next, we're going to set up a time lapse that will automatically record a time lapse video of each of our prints. In this example, I'm printing out the stand for my webcam. We'll start by going to OctoPrint on our computer. That's the IP address of our Raspberry Pi port 5000 right here and here's the default view we're going to time-lapse tab right here and the default is off we're going to turn that on I'm going to hit timed and these are the defaults I'm just going to go with the default so it's going to take a picture every 10 seconds it's going to stitch it together at 25 frames per second zero post roll I'm going to capture post roll images and I'm going to hit save changes and any time lapses that I finish will be right here and then I can download them. And that's how simple it is to set up time lapse configuration. OctoPrint server is up and it automatically starts the OctoPrint every time we reboot our Raspberry Pi, but our webcam doesn't automatically reload unless you run two commands. So first we have to CD into our folder and then we have to run our little MPEG streamer command and now OctoPrint webcam is now working again and then if you are doing SSH like I am you can't do anything else and and if you close it your stream goes away we need to get the webcam to auto start every time we restart our Raspberry Pi. So let's go back to our tutorial here. I'm going to set it back, set it up so the Raspberry Pi auto generates the webcam every single time. 
the instructions are below if you are using a Raspberry Pi camera. I was a little bit confused about the instructions because I did not have a folder called scripts or a file called webcam. So I had to create it. So I'm going to go over here and create that. I'm going to and then I'm going to sudo nano webcam and I'm going to copy and paste this entire text into here and then control X yes to save oops I did not put this in the right place um, I need to move this file so I'm going to move webcam to scripts so I'm going to cd into scripts should have done it that way ls so I've got webcams now I'm going to sudo nano webcam daemon d-a-e-m-o-n create that new file Sorry for the error, guys, but yes, these files have to be in the scripts folder. I'm going to copy and paste text for the daemon file. Copy, paste, control X. Yes, I want to save, enter. And now I've got a webcam and a webcam daemon in a scripts folder. Now I'm going to make sure both files are executable. And I always have to do sudo to get my shamads to work. I don't know if anybody else does it that way too. So I'm going to sudo shamad made my scripts executable. And now I'm going to go into the octoprint config YAML. I'm going to cd into octoprint and then I'm going to sudo nano config.yaml. All right, here we go. Now this part was a little bit confusing to me because it said in the system action section and I looked all through here and I didn't see a systems action setup section so I just had to make a systems action setup so you see it's there's serial there's server there's slicing there's webcam I'm gonna come all the way down here and I'm gonna type in system and then actions and then I'm gonna copy right here and then control X. Yes, I want to save. Yes, I want to write. And then I'm going to skip down to the part where we talk about automatic startup. And I'm going to add webcam start to my etcrc.local file. Now be careful, once you update your rc.local file, you might be in a situation where you can't even boot up your Pi anymore. So be very careful with this. CD. And I'm going to cd dot dot, cd dot dot to get uh, back, and then cd into etc. And then I will see my rc local, so sudo nano and rc dot local. And I just need to add this paste right there, control x, yes, and I'm going to overwrite that. And now I'd like to uh, reboot, sudo reboot. And I'll take a few minutes for everything to happen here. And my Octoprint server has reloaded. I'm going to log in. And I'm going to do remember me. And uh, sure enough, the webcam has restarted itself automatically and I am still logged out over here. Uh, so that is how you have the Octoprint webcam always restart when you restart your Raspberry Pi. Thanks for watching my video on setting up Octoprint with a standard webcam. Please subscribe. See you later.